సమాధిలో లేడు తండ్రి మాట నెరవేర్చిలే చాడు చూడు ప్రభులే చాడు చూడు సంబరణ లేడు ఆ సమాధిలో లేడు తండ్రి మాట నెరవేర్చిలే చాడు చూడు ప్రభులే చాడు పాపాల కై చస్తానన్నాడంట చచ్చిలేస్తానన్నా మటనెల పెట్టాడంట ఈలోక పాపాల కై Praise the Lord and good morning and welcome to this morning devotion miracle mentality and specially as we entered on this day in between the tree and the tomb. Let's take our Bibles and turn it to Romans chapter 11 verse 25 as we read. I want to greet you all of you a very happy resurrection day. What an amazing day it is for all of us who believes in Jesus Christ. Amen. Romans 11:25. I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of Gentiles have come in. Paul spoke a mystery. I call it as a mystery of a clock, a mystery of a time. He said since Jews rejected Jesus, their clock stopped and a new clock started. Did you get this? Since they rejected Jesus Christ, their clock, the Jews, their clock stopped and a new clock started. In other words, the clock of God for Jews stopped and the clock started for all believers in Jesus Christ both to Jews and Gentiles what can we understand through this wonderful verse it is prophetic a prophetic verse this is what i understood listen god took away the time from jews and gave it to us who believed in him amen their hearts were particularly hardened for a time till the full number of the gentiles have come in which means till all the gentiles both jews and greeks till all the gentiles in accordance to god's will should come to saving knowledge of jesus christ till then the time is taken away from jews their clock stopped and our clock started ticking this is an ultimate privilege for all of us before our time stops listen before our time stops or our clock stop ticking come to jesus christ believe him accept him as your personal savior confess your sins repent truly repent and hold on to him take baptism of water spirit and fire and be ready for the lord amen Let's celebrate and worship him and glorify his name as we have gone through all these eight privileges that were taken away from one kind of people and had given to another kind of people to us it's a privilege and i worship the lord and praise his holy name as we celebrate easter as we celebrate this resurrection day let's close our eyes and thank our lord father we want to thank you for this day 
and thank you for the week that had passed by. We have seen your word and we are blessed. Thank you for all these privileges that you have given to us. You gave it to us with an intention that we would produce fruit and help us, Lord, that we would produce fruit. To believe you and to live a holy life till you come is what a fruit is that we have to produce. Help us to do it. Lord, we want to thank you for the word. And as we cling on to it, we pray that your power, your wisdom, your glory would always be bestowed upon. We thank you, we praise you, we give glory to your name. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. So God bless you. Once again, I want to wish you a happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day. And God be with you as you meditate all these privileges given to you and to me. Have a wonderful day.